Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next and today I want to show you something which I got a couple of months back um, and uh, I was actually going to show you guys the other day but then I completely forgot. That was the day I forgot what I was going to do, remember? Well, I have it here. It come back to me and uh, it was on my bookshelf. That's why I forgot. I just couldn't for the life of me remember what it was. I haven't read it yet, uh, but when I do read it, I will do a review on this. Um, but if you guys remember way back in 2014, I made a video and the whole thing was like international news. Like everybody knew about this. It was the Slender Man stabbing case with uh, Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire. Um, and they were two 12 year old girls from Wisconsin and they stabbed their best friend as a sacrifice. They were trying to kill her. Um, they stabbed her like 19 times trying to kill her. Um, and they did that to, I guess, sacrifice her to Slender Man. If you guys remember Slender Man. Um, and uh, it didn't go well. It didn't go as well as they had planned. Uh, they did successfully stab the girl, but she didn't die. She's doing well in life right now. Uh, I think she's in college or something. They must be like 21, 22 now. Um, but it's been like almost 10 years. Next year will be 10 years. Last I heard, every now and then I do check in on this case because it was a case that I was extremely fascinated by. Uh, the same with like other cases like the Watts case and stuff like that. There are some really like disturbing cases that I become really fascinated by and this was definitely one of them because it was so bizarre and it was so unusual and it was so down my alley with like Slender Man and everything that was like popping off at that time, 2014. It was something that really... I, I guess like fascinated me. I looked into every case. I watched every hearing. I watched all of the interrogation tapes and stuff like that. Last I heard last year, or I think the year before 2021, I think Anissa Wire was set free. She's allowed out now. She's in public, but she's got like a whole bunch of rules to like obey. Where Morgan Geyser, the, the actual stabber, um, she was institutionalized for I think they said 40 years at one time, um, but now they're looking at releasing her next year which I thought, wow, they're releasing her already. That seems a little too soon. But then I, I thought about it and it's like, well, it has been 10 years, that's pretty insane. Like, it's just, how has that been 10 years? I feel like that was maybe four years ago. The way I remember it in my head, it feels so recent, it's crazy. Anyway, there is actually a movie about them, which I have seen before, but that's not what this is about. Uh, there is also a book that's been released about them and I have the book right here. Uh, this is, I ordered this one a long time ago. I've had it for a while now. This is a UK cover. Um, and the reason I did purposely get the UK version because I thought the UK one looked a lot more cooler than the US one. The US one was like the front cover had, uh, it was just, I remember it looking like a beautiful suburban neighborhood. Uh, it was just like a beautiful sunny day at the top here. And then just like a beautiful street, like a suburban uh, street right here. So it, it was just so weird to me that that looked so beautiful, yet it housed a very dark story inside it, um, where the UK one looked a lot more like I imagine when I think of that case, like the dark woods right there, Slender Man is there, and then also like the back of Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire right there. So there, it looks like they're just, I mean, I guess they, they wanted to be proxies of Slender Man, so it was like they were trying to appeal to him they were trying to sacrifice Peyton to appeal to him um and to make him proud I guess I it was part of a ritual that they were trying to do and then after they successfully killed her they wanted to run off on foot to the Nicolay National Forest which is like hundreds and hundreds of miles away from where they actually lived in Waukesha and um they didn't get there obviously they just made it outside of their town and they were sitting on the side of the highway and that's where they were arrested and they've never seen the light of day since um or at least morgan geyser hasn't which she was the blonde girl in the situation uh i don't think that's really them like it can't be they're probably just but one of them did have hair like that like blonde hair the other one had dark hair but this book is called slender man and it says right there, a tragic story of online obsession and mental illness. So, me. <laughs> it also says right here at the top, um, haunting, powerful, impossible to put down. And the author is Kate Kathleen Hale. And uh, it says right there, I can't read that because the font's in red and these are in red. So anything that's in red with these glasses, it just makes it disappear entirely. Um, but it says, a fluent and stylish account of a childhood. I can't read that. Um, it's in French. 
and its tragic aftermath. I've had this for a long time, but I've yet to start reading it, but I definitely want to because it is something that was like such a, such a crazy thing to happen, but it was like, it was bound to happen eventually. Like the way online things were going at that time, creepy pastas and all these fictional characters, um, it was bound to happen that there would be a time when a child would take it literally and actually do something about it, which is kind of crazy. But in the book, on the back of the book, it says right here, let me just take these off. Um, inside this intimate, plain spoken masterpiece lies a haunted secret garden of feverish childhood fears and fantasies. It's a shadow world for which nothing can prepare you and one which I doubt you will ever be able to shake. It also says a beautifully written exploration of a tragedy. And then right here for like the description of the book, it says the 2014 Slender Man stabbings in Wisconsin, USA shocked the local community and the world. The violence of Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire, the two 12 year old girls who, decide, who attempted to stab their classmate to death was extreme but what seemed even more frightening was that they had do done so under the influence of an internet meme the so-called slender man i mean i wouldn't call slender man a meme i would just call him a creepy pasta character i don't think the person who published this book really knew what a meme meant <laughs> um that's not a meme slender man is not a meme he's a character but it also says right here slender man tells the full story for the first time morgan and anisa's friendship could so easily have not taken the turn it did, but Morgan was suffering with early onset schizophrenia or phrenia. Um, she believed she had been seeing Slender Man for years and that the only way to stop him was killing her family was to bring him a sacrifice. Her victim miraculously survived the attack, but was left deeply traumatized with the severity of the crime meant Morgan and Anissa would be tried as adults. Slender Man is both a page-turning true crime classic and a compelling search for justice. I am really excited to read this. Um, I just, I don't really have time to pick up books and read them. Somebody actually commented on my video asking like for an update on the Bible. I haven't read it since. I've had a real hard time trying to read the Bible, but uh, I just haven't got the time to read. Um, but this is one that I really want to get around to reading. I feel like I already know everything that's going to be in here, but it's just going to be nice to see it in words. And um, I will do a review of the movie too. They did do a movie not that long ago. And uh, that was kind of, that. It was, I remember it being very emotional um, toward the end. It was very sad. There was like the sad song, but I'll definitely do a review on that too. I'd have to rewatch it again though, because I don't really remember. I was going to say, I don't remember what happens. Like I literally know the plot of the movie, but um. I, I guess I want to like be a little more specific when I talk about certain scenes. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you this and uh, hopefully it will motivate me to actually reading it. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. And remember the most important thing, chase your dreams.